Hey guys, Bubba over here. Oh my god, I need to find my hat. Look at that hair, dude. Let me find that. Let me find me a hat. I need to shave that shit off real quick. Back it. You know what, guys? Hey, what's up? I know, I'm back. And uh, I'm doing a little packing too. So, but you don't have suitcases and you don't have backpacks. Well, I got backpacks and stuff for hunting and stuff like that, uh, for fishing, you name it. I'm bringing my tackle box with me. Yes, we are. We're going to do a challenge up there while we're up there. Um, use garbage bags. Right or wrong. Drying clothes right now. Hanging the clothes, drying them. Uh, Real quick, I gotta get a key. I'll talk to you more. Oh shit, sir. Oh man. I've been outside all day, which is kind of rare. I'm always outside doing something, getting into some shit. But, uh, packing. So, uh, we're gonna throw in, the, throw in the dip real quick. And yes, you just saw it. I'm dipping Copenhagen wintergreen. Um, really not liking it. That's a uh, I miss my red seal. Every store in my, how do you, how does a, every store in your city, which we only got four or five stores, more than that actually, we got six or seven, run, don't have any red seal wintergreen. How? What the, what the fuck? How? Your store has to be so unbalanced if you don't have Red Seal Wintergreen. There's not that many people that dip Red Seal Wintergreen. I doubt it. Or unless freaking people just start watching my freaking videos and said, hey, I'm going to start dipping that. Or some shit. I don't know. Fuck. Whoever has Red Seal Wintergreen and took the last can out of every store, kicking your ass. Got to dip fucking Copenhagen. But there ain't nothing wrong with Copenhagen. If you're a Copenhagen dipper, there ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm gonna head out to you right here real quick. Make sure that wasp nest is gone because I don't want to get stung by a damn wasp and get stung in the fucking face. I'm trying to look for a place to sit, y'all, man. Y'all gotta, gotta stop yelling. Anyways, I tried opening the can and taking the dip out like I do my red seal. It don't work like that. You gotta. Shake it, get all the, the little tiny little ball out, all those little fucking balls in the fuck, get it, oh, balls in a can. <laughs> fuck with y'all. Shake that shit up. Shit at my face. Fuck do I look like? Mm. I like wintergreen. Just not this winter. Okay, we're gonna start. Alright guys, so, as y'all know, Friday, I am leaving to go to East Texas. Wait, y'all didn't know that, because I just told y'all that. Why? What the fuck? Oh, shit, I forgot. I kept myself shaving when I had a pimple right there. Shit, I'm 19. I'm young. Shut the fuck up. But, uh, anyways, yeah. We are going to Lumberton, Texas. And, um... There is absolutely no salt water. And if there is, and you live there, you tell my ass, okay? So, the reason I told you I was taking my tackle box up there. I don't have no salt water. I don't, I don't have no fresh water stuff. But, if believe it or not, I think, unless... 
your fucking lure is like hot like shit or something. You have to be stupid to think a saltwater lure doesn't work a freshwater. Just like a freshwater lure doesn't work saltwater. It's a fucking lure. It's a fucking lure. Duh. I want each person to put my comment in this. I want for someone to put a comment below. Thinks what if I go to a freshwater hole and fish with a saltwater lure? Tell me what you think will happen. And if I'm wrong, I'll do a full can of skull bear. Mm -mm. Let's make it worse. The, the shit that I hate most. That's gonna bear. Actually, <laughs> I'll do skull. Actually, no, I'll do some grizzly dark winter, dark mint. How was that? I almost said dark winter and dark mint. Pretty good. I'll do some skull, uh, grizzly dark mint, and I'll do a full can of that shit. All right, because y'all know how I don't fucking like that shit. I, don't, I can't stand dark mint. My hair looks like a fucking giraffe got gone or tarted. What the fuck? Everybody's like, hey, look at Sonic the Hedgehog. Fuck you. But, um, yeah, put it down below. Tell me what you think's gonna happen. If I'm, and if I'm wrong, if my science, if my judgment's wrong about this, tell me. I mean, and I'll do a full can of something. That y'all want me to do or my choice. But um uh, other than that, let's get on the positive side. Deer hunting is a month away. Y'all remember about this time last time I was in Lumberton and I was saying those words. October first, hunters. Alright, bow hunters for free bow hunters. October first, it is August 2nd, I believe. I'm going to make sure. And I can't make sure because my phone's fucking retarded. But, um, it's either August 1st or August 2nd today. Actually, I can't tell. It's August 1st. Okay, so this video is going to come up, go up August 2nd, which is tomorrow. Um, the reason I'm putting it up tomorrow is because I believe today's Thursday. Oh, no, Wednesday. And I want to give y'all a heads up the day before. Because I'm a jackass like that. But, um, we are going to do some cool stuff this hunt season. I'm going to shoot a deer this season. Shot a deer last season. Not really. I really didn't. I missed the shot, okay. Thought I hit it. Okay, fuck off. Every hunter is not, a, every bow hunter, every gun hunter should not say, oh, I've never missed a deer. Because you're bullshitting me. Because my skills versus your skills ain't no different, dude. If I can shoot, if I can shoot, a, if I can shoot from here to the end of my drive, way the fuck back there and bum fucked Egypt then I can shoot two yards past that now with a gun that's possible with a bow <laughs> hell no I mean it's possible I'm not gonna get y'all wrong I'm not gonna get anybody's hopes down or anything like that if you're bowing but I don't have the eyesight for that. I gotta train myself. I mean, to be honest with you, I mean, I'm not. A, I'm a. I'm a decent bow hunter. I say I'm a decent bow hunter. Um, actually, I'm putting myself down when I say that. But um, we're gonna. Start, I told y'all we're not. I'm trying to think positive. But um, I don't want nothing to happen like last year because I missed a deer. I missed a doe, and she she got away from me. He's up, my, my freaking tree stand was in full of hornets. Oh, big ass hornet's nest about as round as, about as big as that right there. 
It's like oval, big ass oval. And um, I was halfway up the tree and I thought, and I was like, huh, come back down the tree. And I made me a little ground blind. I set, on, I set up a piece of tree just like that one right there. And I had a bunch of brush behind me. I made some shooting lanes and stuff like that. But um, we're going. I'm gonna. I'm gonna give y'all. I'm gonna give y'all some good. I'm gonna try to get y'all some good vlogs this deer season. Um, try to do my best to. I do my best to um, give it a shot. You can't kill it if you can't see it. And everybody knows. Everybody know what I know what everybody's gonna say when I say that. Damn right. Because if you can shoot a deer without seeing it, most likely that shot ain't gonna be good. Um. We're gonna talk about a lot of stuff like hanging deer stands, and we're gonna I'm, I'm gonna um, put a video up about hanging a climbing stand, uh, not a climbing stand, a tree climber. Again, because apparently people didn't realize that. But uh, I got some more subscribers, and I probably probably didn't go that far back to my video, my, in my my past vlogs. But uh, we're gonna to try to get everything situated. I'm gonna do my best. Um, we'll see what we can do. So, I'm like, I gotta get going. I gotta start washing. I gotta start hanging these clothes up for dry. But, um, I will be seeing y'all later. I'm Bubba Dipper, and I'm out. And if you haven't subscribed, hit subscribe. Go back and like my like this video if you like it. Go back and watch and watch my past um, vlogs and like them. Um, so like I say, for new. Subscribe if you like me. Y'all yeah, know what to do. Anyways, guys, I'm out. Um, Bubba Dipper. And I'll see y'all later.